Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I want to answer a question, how to clear your cache in Divi. So this is kind of one of those things that will solve a lot of problems. I know I see a lot of people, you know, having different issues and sometimes it's not anything, you know, in particular, but it's just little issues and a lot of times it's due to cache. So I'm going to kind of explain what that is and how you can clear it in your browser, in a plugin, in Divi, and even in your CDN. So I think this is going to be very helpful and it's going to solve a lot of problems. Let's get started. All right, this is a question that does come up fairly often in Facebook groups and stuff. So it is important to cover how to do this. So we're going to look at, I think it's four or five things, things that you should be clearing when you're clearing your cache. And so I guess I'll just start really quick with what is cache. So websites cache, that's the files that are stored locally and whether that's on your browser or on a CDN or even you know in your website um, in a plugin something like that and that basically helps speed up the loading of your website for the users the visitors and but those files if if you're updating your site if you're working in Divi and you're making changes well the the files that are stored on those cache servers are going to be outdated really quick so we need to clear them out and basically push new files out there so that's what cache is and that's what we're trying to do by clearing it here and a good place to start is with your browser so i happen to use chrome and i have a chrome extension that i use a lot it's really handy it's just called clear cache i have that linked in the blog post there so you can go just add that Basically, it adds right here. You can see it. It adds this little icon, and you can just click that. And that's the same as doing a hard refresh. So that's the same as going like Control Shift R and doing the hard refresh. And by the way, that's a trick if you don't have the extension. Just Control Shift R. That's going to be a hard refresh. All right. So anyway, in Chrome, you would go to these three dots up here. Click on More Tools. Clear Browsing data and that pops up this chrome settings bar here and you're going to see a whole bunch of items here and just depends what you have selected um, from before it'll pull them up again but for me i just want cached images and files that's selected and then clear data all right so that's how you clear the browser cache on chrome and it's going to be very similar in other browsers and by the way this link here will take you to a website that kind of helps you like gives you instructions for each one so you can see all these different ones here like if I'm using Firefox I could click on there and then it comes and gives me screenshots and instructions on how to clear it for that so that's kind of handy you can check that out as well so refresh your cache.com I think there's some other similar sites the next thing that is kind of usually the culprit <laughs> is in Divi, there's this thing called static CSS file generation, and I'll just show you where that's at. So it's actually under Divi theme options, and then under the builder tab here and the advanced tab. And that's this top one here. And if this is on, you'll see here static CSS file generation. If it's enabled, then you have this button here. So come and clear this button. You know, it kind of does the little thing where it's clearing it. And that is going to be the solution to more problems than you would imagine. That is going to be the answer to a lot of things. Now, here is my kind of expert tip for you, if you will. Turn this off while you're working on your site. If you're building a site, keep it off. You are going to save yourself a lot of headache. Just keep it off. Now, maybe you have your site ready to go live. You're probably not going to be making many changes in the future. You're done kind of working in the Divi Builder and stuff. Sure, you can turn it on. But I'm just saying, <laughs> if that's the first thing I turn off on every site that I install. It seriously is. All right, so the next thing is a caching plugin. Now, this is going to vary greatly. I mean, there's so many caching plugins and you know all the debates as which one works best with Divi and it's like it's really down to a preference sometimes and down to what your hosting server um, wor what works with them and sometimes they have CDNs and we'll get to that 
Okay, so on this particular site and a lot of my sites, I use SiteGround and I use the SG Optimizer plugin, which is absolutely incredible. It, it seriously is, oh, it's an incredible plugin. They have really taken that thing to new levels. Um, they just keep updating it. Anyway, if you would like to see a tutorial on using the SG Optimizer plugin, let me know and I'll try to do one on that. But if you're using SiteGround hosting, it's just a lifesaver. Anyway, that particular plugin adds this here um, in the menu bar, Purge SG Cache. So I can click on that and it kind of does its thing and you'll see you know, the page will refresh and stuff and, and then you're done. So that cleared the hosting server cache. Now there's also other similar ones like on PA Creative here on this website, I use WP Fastest Cache and they have a very similar one. I have a screenshot here just showing you, you know, they say delete cache and then, you know, I think underneath you can hover over that and it has a couple options for you to do. But anyway, whichever caching plugin you're using, it probably has a feature like that somewhere. Whether it puts it up on the menu bar like this or not, I'm not sure, but if not, you can go check the settings of that particular plugin. The last one here is your content delivery network or your CDN. So this is, well, basically a, a CDN stores your website files. It, it, it stores multiple sets of those files kind of all over the world at like servers all over the world all right because the goal of that is to keep the files closer to the people you know so you know i'm i'm in the east coast i'm near gettysburg pennsylvania so you know it's going to be quicker if i'm accessing you know a, a server in chicago than than one in california or you know brazil or something like that all right you know what i mean so that's what a content delivery network does it puts it out there and it is different than your hosting server. Um, I do want to point out that like SiteGround, for example, does partner with Cloudflare. That's one of them. And you basically get a free account. And I'm going to show you that here. Um, some other ones are Key CDN, StackPath, and there's a bunch. And a lot of times it will depend on your hosting server, which one will integrate. I mean, they could all work with any. I'm just saying some are optimized more for it. Um, and so to purge your CDN, you know, you're just going to have to log in and look for the button. You know, for me, I'm going to show you here. So if I would log into my Cloudflare here and then I would pick my site like this one here and then you'll, you'll get these tabs and then here's caching, click on that and then configuration. All right. And then here it's telling you a little bit about purging that, um, you know, it'll basically force Cloudflare flare to like put fresh files out there um, on the server and then here's the two buttons purge everything and and it's saying here purging that cache may you know it may temporarily degrade performance that's because it's it's purging the files that are there so when someone tries to access your site it's going to need to load all new files which you know if your site's optimized that's no big deal um i just wanted to point out you could purge everything which would be all the pages or this here it's actually pretty handy custom purge and you can use the url so if there was like a page of the website that i just updated or i knew that i was working on just that page i could come in here and paste that in here and then click purge that's really handy um i guess the other ones have that i don't know if the other you know cdns have that but that's a really nice feature here in cloudflare so basically look for something similar to that where you can purge your cdn cache whichever, you know, whichever CDN you happen to be using. And, you know, that's probably going to, that's probably going to be a fix. Sometimes I, I remember I was having like all kind of issues with like, you know, the, um, the spinning wheel of death or <laughs> whatever you want to call that thing, um, with it loading. And it actually ended up being, um, a cloud flare issue. It wasn't, it wasn't psych or anything, um, or Divi, you know, now I do have this post here, how to fix Divi, and you can click on one of these here. That was where this information was originally located about clearing your cache, but I wanted to expand on that. So over on this guide, right, this first section is kind of what I just went over, um, just an expanded version of it. 
And then there's all these other things, you know, when you have issues, enable safe mode, you know, update your PHP, update your PHP version, upgrade to better hosting. And there's my affiliate links because I do use SiteGround and Cloudways, not to be confused with Cloudflare. You know, then make sure you're meeting the requirements and using the rollback feature, contacting support. Uh, essentially, you're going to find your solution no matter what it is there because usually it's cash. If it's not cash, it's more than likely really bad hosting. So if you're using something like Bluehost or, oh my, please don't. But if you are, that's probably the reason if you're having some issue. Um, and there you go. That's how you clear your Divi website cache. So I hope this was helpful and useful. All right, so there you go. That's how you clear out your cache. And again, cache is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's just when you're trying to work there and build your site and be editing your pages and stuff, sometimes it gets in the way, causes little problems. So there you go. Hope this helps you solve it. If it has not quite solved it, we do have a complete full guide on how to fix Divi. And actually, this tutorial was taken from that. We actually ex expanded, I guess, on the how to fix Divi part, like I was saying there. And so that tutorial, that full guide is going to solve anything because it covers, you know, hosting and getting support and all that. So it's going to be a solution somewhere. I say it solves everything, and it does because it, probably the hosting would, would solve. If, if, the his, if this didn't right here, if the cache didn't solve it, it's probably a hosting issue. Um, so you should be upgrading to something like Cloudways and SiteGround. And go check out our article, How to Fix Divi, if you want more information on that. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.